Well, since there's so many ignorant whelps out there, I'm here to inform all of you about the true potential of a video game. That would be Terraria. Basically, two-dimensional Minecraft, although there's more armors, weapons, and bosses that want to use your blood as fruit punch at the next Halloween party. The class we're going to be talking about today is swords. There's swords that are swords, there's swords that shoot balls of energy, and there's swords that shoot energy swords that would put Goku to shame. The sword is a melee weapon. Usually, people that have it have the highest defense and are always taking care of everyone. But don't go facing the Eye of Cthulhu yet, because you are not effective against flying mobs, and you will be torn to shreds faster than my science test once I see the grade. There are also two types of sword. The short sword, which is more in a stabbing motion, the broad sword, which swings in an arc. Choosing which is better is as easy as choosing whether to use American or Vavita cheese. I swear if you choose American cheese, I'll bring down the power of a full math nerd on you. The power of a sword can range from a wooden sword to the Meow Mirror, which shoots rainbow cats at your opponents, which is the most powerful sword in the game. Swords are like literally every other weapon. The game can be crafted from almost anything, from a rare metals in reality to desert fossils to literally a cactus. Remember that. The ally of a sword is definitely knocked back because it keeps the mobs away while dealing great damage. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. I honestly enjoyed this. This, if you couldn't tell, was fan made for Joe Cat in his D&D series that I re actually really enjoyed. I'm honestly surprised though that I was able to make a one minute video in like a week. Don't expect that ever again. Okay then, goodbye.